Hey guys, my name is Tyler from the RC Speedo team and this video will show you everything that you need to know about RC Speedo so that you can start using it in the field as soon as possible. We wanted to make it easy to skip around within the video, so we included time links in the description to all of the different sections so that you can easily jump around. After launching RC Speedo, the home screen will open up. For most users, very little setup is needed. To have RC Speedo begin listening for plane passes, tap the Start Listening button. The app will now report back passes as they are picked up by your device's microphone. Once you want to have RC Speedo stop listening for passes, simply tap the Stop Listening button. It's that easy to use right after installing. But depending on your aircraft and flying conditions, we can change up the settings to help increase the accuracy of the app. So now that you know how to have RC Speedo listen for passes, let's go over the settings you can change to make the app even more accurate. To open the settings menu on iOS devices, press the settings button. On Android devices, press the menu button and then press on the settings button in the pop-up menu. The first setting that you can modify is sound. RC Speedo vocally reports each pass so that you can focus on flying and not have to look at the screen after every single pass. To disable sounds, simply use the on off button on iOS or uncheck the box on Android. Making sure that your temperature settings are correct is extremely important. Sound travels at different rates based on the temperature. On hotter days, the air is thinner, while on colder days, the air is more dense. Having the temperature set up incorrectly can cause inaccurate speed readings. If you want to read more about the science behind RC Speedo and the importance of temperature, check out our How Does RC Speedo Work section of our website. I say all this to stress just how important the temperature settings are before modifying them too much. To make things easier, RC Speedo uses the GPS of your device by default to determine the temperature at your location. If you would like to disable this feature, or are in an area with poor data reception, turn off the auto temp setting. To do this, use the on off button on iOS or uncheck the box on Android. If you disable auto temp, then you will need to manually set the temperature. To do this, tap on the temperature field and manually input the temperature. Remember, be as accurate as possible if you set the temperature yourself to reduce incorrect speed readings. Depending on how fast you are flying and the airspace that you are flying in, you can select a few different Doppler modes to further increase listening accuracy. To adjust the mode on iOS, tap on the mode that you want to use under the Doppler mode option. On Android, tap on Change Doppler Mode and make a selection from the pop-up menu. Here's a quick breakdown of each of the modes. For the most part, you want to use the default mode. This provides the most accurate speed readings for most flying situations. If you can make a two second pass in front of the device and are flying around or under 100 miles per hour, this is the mode setting that you want to be using. 100 MPH plus mode is made for planes consistently hitting speeds well above 100 miles per hour. This mode has increased accuracy for aircraft in this speed range. However, it will not correctly detect planes moving at 100 miles per hour or less. Fast pass mode should only be used if you are flying in airspace where you can't make a full two second pass in front of the device. If you're having difficulty making passes and getting speed readings, try switching to fast pass mode. However, fast pass mode can pick up more inaccurate speeds due to the sound sensitivity adjustments. So you should only use this mode if you're unable to make a full pass. The final setting that you can adjust is the units mode. You can switch between miles per hour and kilometers per hour by tapping the units of measurement option on the iOS settings screen or by tapping on the change units of speed option on Android. Lastly, if you need any help, press the help button to go to the online RC Speedo manual. RC Speedo can save and export lists of speeds using the Log Manager. This can help you determine the average speed of your plane, be utilized for flight club events, or even to see the effect of a modification to your aircraft. To start logging, first open up the Log Manager by selecting the Log Manager option from the home screen in iOS, or by pressing the menu button and selecting Log Manager in Android. The first thing you should do when entering the Log Manager is create a new log. Simply press the Create New Log button within the Log Manager to open a new pop-up window. Think up a name for the log and enter the name of the aircraft that you're flying. After doing so, a new log will be created. You should now see the name of your log and the model name on screen in the Log Manager. This is the active log that will be used for logging. You can create multiple logs, and if you would like to switch between them, press the Choose a Log button on iOS or drop-down caret on Android to select the active log that you would like to use. 
When you're ready to start logging, enter the log manager and make sure that the log that you want to record to is active. Then, return to the home screen and press the start logging button. You can then press start listening and any speeds that are heard by the device are also recorded in the active log. When you're ready to stop logging, tap the stop logging button. Within the log manager, you can also delete the active log by pressing the delete log button. You can export the log via email by pressing the email log button. If you would like to share speeds using the social media network of your choice, RC Speedo makes it easy. Press the share button next to any speed on the home page that you want to share with your friends and a pop-up menu will appear listing the different ways that you can share that speed. That covers all the basics for RC Speedo. For more in-depth guides, please check out our website at www.rcspeedo.com. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for news and updates on the app. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for watching, and we hope that you enjoy RC Speedo at the field.